In Florida, the Palm Beach Zoo is now closed after a zookeeper was mauled to death yesterday by a tiger the keeper had been working with for years. Here's David Begno. My name is Stacy Conweiser. I'm the primary tiger keeper here. Lead zookeeper, 38-year-old Stacy Conweiser, was an expert when it came to these endangered Malayan tigers. Friday, Conweiser was working in the night house where the animals eat and sleep. That's when something went wrong. Palm Beach Zoo's Nikki Carter says zoo officials are now reviewing surveillance video from inside the enclosure. This was an area that Stacy was very familiar with, um, and we are investigating exactly what happened that caused this tragic occurrence. Zoo officials say Conweiser suffered a severe bite, and they called 911 around 1.45 p.m. Rescue crews could only reach her after the 13-year-old male tiger had been tranquilized. Conweiser died shortly after. Stacy understood the dangers that come with this job. She had a passion for this job. That's the only reason that you become a keeper. The zoo says its guests were never in danger. This is the first time a person has been killed in an animal incident in the zoo's 60-year history. Mark McCarthy runs a wildlife sanctuary in the area and has worked with tigers for more than 40 years. That's a powerful animal, and if they get a hold of you, they're not... They, there's nothing you can do to let them go. I don't care how strong you are, how big you are. There are less than 250 Malayan tigers in the wild. It is unclear which of the zoo's four tigers was involved. Conweiser and her husband Jeremy were both zookeepers at the Palm Beach Zoo. She had just accepted a position with the FDA with an ultimate goal to work for the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. David Begno, CBS News, Miami.